welcome back to another video in this video i will show you how to access wi-fi or ethernet in wsl for this we need to enable hyper v manager by going into turn windows feature on or off i have already enabled it so uh, let us first check the ip address of our wsl So this is the IP address, uh, it is uh, randomly generated by the NAT, network address translation. So I am uh, able to ping google.com. Let me first show you how this uh, WSL access the internet and what is the network adapter behind it. So basically it uses a v virtual ethernet WSL hyper v manager adapter. So if I want to access Wi-Fi or ethernet I uh, need to configure it in the Hyper-V manager. So run it as administrator mode and uh, go to virtual switch manager in WSL. Let us first access wireless adapter or our Wi-Fi. Uh, it is going giving me error so let me try again sometime it does not work for the first time but uh, it works when you again try it so I apply it and ok close it. Uh, I need to start again WSL in administrator mode and I check the IP address but the IP address is still same and uh, internet is not accessible as you can see Google is not pinging. Let us flash the IP address, in other words remove the IP address that was already given. So as you can see the IP address is flashed, previously it was some random. Let us run DHCP client for Ethernet 0 to attain IP address. So as you can see now IP address is changed but still internet is not accessible I am unable to ping to google.com. So uh, for this I need to configure a DNS server in <coughs> etc resolve.config file I give uh, google DNS here. So control T and control X. So as you can see now the uh, DNS server is changed. Let us try to ping google.com again to check the internet accessibility. As you can see I am able to ping to google.com. So in this way you can access Azure Ethernet or Wi-Fi adapter directly in WSL. So let us uh, reverse it again by going into Hyper-V manager and running some commands in CMD in administrator mode. Let us first go to Hyper-V manager 
So, after uh, switching to internal adapter, let us run some commands to reach at the IP address, DNS and other settings. So let us run first this command net asset win shop reset reset IP address and reset proxy and flash DNS. So uh, by running all these applications it will reset the IP address proxy and DNS. So to get the effect of these commands let us restart the system and I will show you again what is the status of my WSL internet or Ethernet. So let us open WSL after restarting and let me check the IP address again. So as you can see my IP address is now reversed and I am also able to ping to google.com. If you like the video subscribe to my channel for such more interesting videos.